It's called Pay Respect. What might have happened back then if genocide wasn't the goal? If guns and spears had been laid down with fears and they'd only met through heart and soul? Cause now is the time for folks to agree, to walk on this land side by side, to acknowledge each other as sister and brother with the sun and the moon as our guide. I wonder what might have happened back then at the Whitey's first migration if there hadn't been barriers of fear and ill communication. For instance, the black fellas might have said, would you like to try some roo tail? We'll catch it, chop it, cook it on the fire till it turns from black to pale. And the Englishman might have said, Well, that's jolly nice of you old chaps. We got some scones and jam and cream and tea that could tickle your taste buds, perhaps. And so the blacks and whites could have sat round the fire and chewed the fat. Swap dream time stories for seafaring tales and told jokes, tit for tat. Had a laugh at their obvious differences and a lark at extremes in colour. Show each other a dance or two and teach each other to holler. Well, I may not understand your ways, but I'm willing and eager to learn. I'll 
take your presence as a gift As long as the sun does burn I'll always be your friend, my friend Until my dying day There's no need to wait, I'll be your mate Starting from today And I want to pay respect To the people of this land I bow my head in sorrow For the sins of the world man I want to pay respect To the people, to the creatures To the children of this land Thank you very much. Great flag waving there.